everyone, welcome back to the Sew Along. I am so happy to have you here. So in this in this uh, episode of our Sew Along, what we're going to be doing is putting the bubble bottoms on the bodice. So first you're going to need to install a back placket. Um, so what I did is I did the continuous placket method and I have a detailed video on how to do that. That is linked down below. You could also do the placket that's like a, it's a folding sort of placket and I have a video on how to do that as well. Once whatever placket of your choice is installed, then what you're going to do is put two rows of gathering stitches, um, one on either side of that placket, as well as two rows on the front bubble. So then I adjust the gathers to fit the bottom of the bodice. And then you could sew them together at this point, um, but I wanted... Ooh, I know. We wanted to put some lace in there. Um, so what I did is I took two two times the length in lace, you know, of the width. That way I could gather up that lace. And what I it just pulled the the little header out to gather the lace. Uh, and really with this, you try to pull as many threads as you can. It just makes it easier when gathering up lace. And then, hold on, we're gonna have to baby dance our way through as I try to put her to sleep, finishing up the series. So, where was I? Oh, the lace. So I did 2x um, for the lace, and I gathered that lace up, pulling as many of the threads out from the header as I could get a hold of. Usually, you know, two or three is, is a good number. It's way better than one. It does make a huge difference. And then I, you know, I put that on the bottom of the bubble, the top of the bottom of the bubble. <laughs> I sewed it to the top of the bottom of the bubble, and I ironed it, and then I sewed the bubble bottom to the bodice front. And when I'm sewing that in place, I'm making sure to leave out the, the lining. All of the lining is gonna be left at this point because it's gonna be it's gonna come back on top of these seams later on. So we don't want them involved in these seams. They're gonna be covering up the seams later on. So I do the same thing for the back. I'm gonna put the back right, you know, the back of the bubble right sides together with the back of the bodice. Now when you do this, you wanna make sure that you have the placket flipped the right you know the right way and the little thing that I always remember it by is that um, it doesn't really matter but what people will say is that girls are always right so the right side of the placket should go on the left you know should go over top the left side of the placket like I said it doesn't really matter but you want to make sure that one is going to be flipped to go on top of the other one so you want to make sure to flip one and to leave the other one laying flat um, I hope that makes sense and then you just you just sew along again, leaving the lining side out, so you'll have your whole bodice, you know, flat out, and you'll sew along, leaving that lining out, and you'll just go to the crease mark. It's nice to have the crease there, like I mentioned earlier in a couple of videos ago, um, and you'll just go to that crease mark, and that's how you know where the center back of your bodice is. So then I iron that lining edge under and I pin it in place for now and I will hand sew that down into the seam later on. You'll see that in the, in the, the last video. So for now, I'm gonna be doing joining the side seams together using French seams. And that's all I'm gonna do in this video. So I hope it was helpful. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I think this is fun. I think we should do some more of them. Um, but anywho, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.